you ready? On now, I think so. It's not your usual mother-son outing. Plunging into the water with whale sharks, manta rays, and hundreds of other aquatic species certainly would qualify as an adventure, but it had a deeper significance for wounded Army Major Julie Irwin and her son Sean. The first injury, uh, the one I'm being treated for, was an IED blast in Afghanistan in January of 2012. I refused medical care and wanted to stay in country and stay with my unit, which is really common. I was in another blast, so that one caused a little bit of a bleed in my brain. And um, about three days later, I couldn't feed myself, couldn't get to the chow hall, couldn't walk. It was pretty bad. So I finally said, I, I think I need some help. Irwin was pulled from the front line and began treatment for two concussions and a lesion on the frontal right lobe. With her focus on recovery and unable to be physically active, quality time with her teenage son was a struggle. Brain injuries are kind of unique because you can't see it, you know. I just was very dull and didn't understand things, couldn't follow directions because I couldn't remember from one minute to the next. Her recovery regimen at Fort Bragg brought her into contact with the Army's Wounded Warriors Transition Battalion. You put your hands underneath your cylinder like this. And her own past experience as a certified diver. What followed was the opportunity of a lifetime. A trip to Georgia's renowned aquarium and a swimming exercise with its gentle giants. I haven't really had a chance to do anything fun with my son like this. Um, medically, I haven't been capable, but now I am, you know, able to go out and do some things. And so when this trip came available, I said, we're going to go make some memories, <laughs> me and my son. The water is so clear, and there are animals everywhere. One of the manta rays kept coming up and going through the bubbles of the divers, you know, doing backflips. It's really hard, and again, it's a wood bump in it. It's mainly you because trying to stay next to you and not too close. For Irwin, it was not only an adventure, but an opportunity to bond with her son as she never had before. More than anything, I want something that he can remember 20, 30, 40 years from now. You know, the day he went swimming with sharks was mom. Holly Furfer, CNN, Atlanta.